Hi, I'm Jessica and I've been coming to Suncrest for about three years now. Well, when I first heard about the coffee cup challenge or the mug challenge, I was excited because I know there's a lot of people in the world that are far from God or may not go to church and sometimes those people aren't as approachable or your nerves get the best of you, but I knew God wanted me to and I'm definitely not going to say no to what God wants. And so the three people he laid on my heart were three co-workers of mine. The first co-worker was a woman who usually sits by herself. Um, I think she used to go to church growing up, but she had fallen away from God. I brought her the mug and I said, I got something for you for my church. And she was really excited and shocked that I thought of her. She said, thank you. And I asked her if she was free one weekend to come to church with me. And she was a little hesitant, but she said she would think about it. She wants to talk about it soon, so I look forward to that conversation. The second person I gave the cup to, um, she's newer at work. She, I guess some people say she's a little bit rude. She's kind of standoffish, but it was a little difficult to get up the courage to walk up to her and have that conversation because I didn't even know if she believed in God or not. It didn't matter because I knew God chose her for me to talk to. and. Um, I actually left the cup on her desk and she called me right away when she got it and she was so excited because I guess they just got a new coffee maker so she said it would go perfect with it. And we actually talk every day now and um, that relationship started all because of this coffee cup challenge and others I don't think I would have talked to her. and. So it's really neat, you never know whose life you're gonna touch. The third cup I gave to another coworker of mine who was recently diagnosed with cancer. She was experiencing a lot of pain, but she still came to work and she was one of the hardest workers there. Um, when I came downstairs, she was actually on the computer looking up her doctor's phone number and um, she was in so much pain she needed to get more medication and make another appointment. When she saw that I had a gift for her, she just started crying right away and wrapped her arms around me and was really thankful. Um, she said she was having such a rough day and it meant a lot to her. And I asked her if she was ever free one weekend to come to church with me. And she said that she would love to, but that it would have to wait till after her surgery. I found out a couple weeks later that she had passed away. But I hope that she looked at her cup and I hope that I planted a seed and she thought about God. Because I can imagine going through something like that and not having God in your life. And I'm just thankful for the whole experience because you never know um, who you're going to talk to and, and how it's going to turn out and whose life you're going to touch. One of my biggest fears is becoming that person who takes a big step of faith and then is satisfied with what they did and satisfied with what God did. And then they just feel like, okay, that was good and now I'm done. I, I don't ever want to plateau in my journey and I want to keep you know, praying to God and listening to what He wants me to do. And I want to help as many people as I can. When I think about that, there's a reason why people are hard to approach or they might be going through something in their life um, and that's usually the case. They're hurting or they're upset and that's when they need God the most. I just think that if people participated in things like the coffee cup challenge or just, I mean, even one thing a week or something, just sit and pray to God and listen to what He wants for your life, that we could make big changes. I mean, if we all just did something small, it could make a great impact.